A shock at the pharmacy pickup counter for some hundreds of drugs. They're costing more. Dep reporter Michelle Casada explains why more increases are likely and the impact consumers are facing. In the month of January, the prices for nearly 1,000 drugs increased. The cost of the consumer varies, but not only are people shelling out more cash for copays on certain prescriptions, some drugs are difficult to find due to shortages. This is my medication here. Julie Itkowitz is on several medications for diabetes. Even with my husband and I both working, um, it's difficult because you're having to pay copay for everything. She's noticed costs are up. Even the price for the sensor to read her blood sugar levels is high. For me, a two pack is $74 and I have insurance. So that's a very high copay. This month, some big pharmaceutical companies like Pfizer, Eli Lilly, Janssen have raised prices. Data from 46 Brooklyn, a drug research company, shows a range of medications have gone up in costs. It's about 5% increase in price right now. Trulicity and Munjaro, both used to treat diabetes included. I do see a uh, People do have to choose food over drugs a lot of times, and you do see that on a regular basis. Nirav Patel is a pharmacist and owner of Rubalo Pharmacy in Lake Park. He says on top of rising costs, his customers face continued supply issues. On an average, about three to five drugs on a daily basis that they don't have access to that I may have to wait another two to three days or find another wholesaler. One type of injection used for diabetes, he said, yep. also so has weight loss side around. effects, okay. driving up demand for it. To me, that's very appalling and very upsetting. Many in the pharmaceutical industry expect prices will continue to increase as a new federal law requires companies to rebate Medicare if they increase drug prices above the rate of inflation. Michelle Casada, WPTV News Channel 5.